A very warm welcome, friends, to EPG Pakshala. I'm Dr. Archana Sachde, Principal Scientist in the Division of Biochemistry, IARI, New Delhi. Today, I'm going to talk about ribozymes, the catalytic RNA, under the paper entitled Protein Biochemistry and Enzymology. In this lecture, we shall discuss in details the various characteristics and the role of ribozymes in biological systems. We shall also see the history of their discovery and the various types of naturally occurring ribozymes and artificial ribozymes. The lecture shall also throw some light on various applications of the ribozymes. From time memorial, it has been believed that enzymes were always proteins. But later, several catalytic RNAs were discovered known as ribozyme or RNAzyme which were found capable of catalyzing biochemical reactions. The discovery of ribozymes revealed that RNA contributed to the RNA world hypothesis, depicting its role in replication as well as in biological catalysis. And this discovery suggested that RNA might be the ancestor of the very first living form itself. The RNA, due to its catalytic nature, can cleave can ligate RNA and perform various biochemical reactions, including peptide bond synthesis. Their major role in biological systems includes hydrolysis of phosphodiester bond, formation of bonds, catalyzing amino transferase activity of ribosome, for example, RNA polymerase, amino acyl transferase, as well as RNase P. Coming to the characteristics of ribozymes, Ribozymes are contrary to the central dogma and are rare in the living entities, but with vital roles in life. The original discovery of ribosomes was in viruses, which use RNA for storage of genetic information. These small RNAs were able to cut themselves out of larger RNA molecules without the involvement of any enzyme. Now, this unique property led them to be studied in details and later it was shown that these RNAs were also able to cleave other RNA molecules which contained the NUX pattern of nucleotides where N stands for any nucleotide, U for uracil and X for adenine, uracil or cytosine. This therefore made them act like true enzymes. The ribozymes are present in the organelles of eukaryotes, for example in the nucleus, mitochondria and chloroplast. They are present in amphibians, prokaryotes, bacteriophages, viroids and in satellite viruses that infect plants. The grouping of these RNA catalysts is based on their chemical type. However, regardless of type, all RNAs are associated with metal ions such as potassium, magnesium, etc. And these metal ions are known to play essential role in catalyzing the reactions. All ribozymes specifically catalyze reactions that modify themselves. It is because of this nature that ribozymes cannot be considered as true enzymes or biocatalysts. However, there is one exception. RNAs P is associated with the processing of 5' end of the tRNA precursors. Ribozymes have diverse structures and mechanisms using the four nitrogen-based choices other than the diverse amino acids for protein structure. The tertiary structure of ribozyme substrate complex has been examined using a variety of biochemical, biophysical, genetic and computational methods and by combining techniques like NMR spectroscopy, X-ray crystallography, time-dependent fluorescent resonance energy transfer, hydroxyl radical footprinting and photo cross-linking revealed the structure of the active site. It was found to be comprised of multiple conserved functional groups located at and around the interface of the two domains in the docked active tertiary complex. Ribozymes follow Michaelis-Menten's kinetics like enzymes. 
the reaction rate can increase up to 10 to the power 11 times while reaction efficiencies can go up to 10 to the power 8 per mole per minute. The enhancement in the reaction rate as provided by the ribozymes are indeed impressive but still it is of the order of approximately 10 to the power 3 fold times less than the rate enhancement which can be provided by enzymes which may catalyze similar reactions. Additionally, ribozymes cannot be compared with proteins in terms of turnover number. In other words, they cannot be considered as multiple turnover enzymes. This is mostly because of the release of the product which is so slow that it leads to easy saturation of the ribozymes catalytic site and this appears to be the limitation of ribozymes. However, since ribozymes by nature generally catalyze intramolecular single turnover reactions, it also reflects evolutionary constraints of the RNA enzyme. Has been proposed for the large catalytic RNAs based on analogy with proteins metallic enzymes. The ribozymes may also assist in the folding of proteinaceous infectious particles that is prions similar to chaperonins and may be involved in viral concatomer cleavage which normally precedes and the packing of viral RNA and DNA into small virons. This slide depicts the mechanism of ribozyme action. It clearly indicates the RNA processing by the ribozyme. Coming to the history of ribozymes, the slide indicates the milestones in the discovery of ribozymes. Carl Vos, Francis Crick, Czech, Altman, all these are the important scientists who have led to the discovery of the ribozymes. This slide indicates the type of ribozymes. The ribozymes can be natural or they can be artificial. Natural can be further classified as large, small or others. The large ones include the group 1 and the group 2 as well as RNAs B, whereas the small ones include the hammerhead, hairpin, HDV, etc. Under the others, we have the spliceosome and the ribosome. The artificial ribosomes are synthesized in the laboratory based on the dual nature of RNAs as catalysts and as informational polymers. The ribozymes, that is the natural ribozymes, can be categorized into various types. We have peptidyl transferase, that is 23S RNA, RNAs P, then group 1 and group 2 introns, GIR1 branching ribozyme, ledozyme, hairpin ribozyme, hammerhead ribozyme, HTV ribozyme, mammalian CPEB3 ribozyme, VS ribozyme, GLMS ribozyme and COTC ribozyme. Coming to the peptidyl transferase 23S RNA, peptidyl transferase is an amino acyl transferase which is associated with the formation of peptide bonds between the adjacent amino acids during the translational process. It is also the primary enzymatic function of the ribosome. The peptidyl transferase activity is only mediated by ribosomal RNA and it has been well proven by site directed mutational studies. In prokaryotes, the 23S component of 50S ribosome and in eukaryotes, the 28S component of the 60S ribosome performs the peptidyl transferase activity. Let's take the example of RNAs B. It's a ubiquitous endoribonuclease and is present in archaea, eubacteria, eukaryotes and also in the organelles. It is very well known as a true RNA zyme as it processes the 5' leader sequence of tRNA. The human RNAs P has also been recently discovered with the role in transcription of small non-coding RNAs like U6 snRNA, 5S RNA, tRNA, etc and RNAs P is also known as a natural multiple turnover RNA zyme. Now the bacterial RNAs P has two components and both the components are necessary for the ribozyme function. These components are M1 RNA and the C5 protein. Interestingly in archae, 
bacteria, the ribonucleoproteins comprise of protein subunits, approximately four to five, with the RNA component. And in vitro reconstitution studies have revealed that the protein subunits are individually dispensable for tRNA processing, which is very well mediated by the RNA counterpart. The eukaryotic RNAs B is more complex in terms of the associated proteins. Almost 9 to 10 proteins are associated with the RNA chain, among which 5 exhibit homology to archaebacteria. The protein subunits play a catalytic role in RNA processing within the nucleolus. And these protein subunits of RNAs B are shared with RNAs MRP, a catalytic ribonucleoprotein, which is involved in the processing of ribosomal RNA within the nucleus. Group 1 introns normally have a long ORF. The mode of GTP dependent catalysis includes two sequential transesterification reactions, which are clearly depicted in this slide. Group 2 introns are another type of autocatalytic RNA present in all domains of life. The catalytic activity even was found at the hypersaline conditions in vitro. However, protein counterparts are associated for in vivo splicing. Group 2 ribozymes perform GTP independent intron excision involving lariate intermediates. And the spliceosome has also evolved from group 2 introns. With a structural similarity of domain 5 substructure V6, V2 extended SN RNA. The site specific mobilization to DNA regions explored can be used as a tool for biotechnology. The discovery of GIR1 ribozyme resulted from the functional characterization of introns from extra chromosomal recombinant DNA of Tidium iridis. The GIR branching ribozyme, now also known as lariate capping ribozyme, has about 179 nucleotides and it bears a structural resemblance to group 1 introns. The following are the features which are clearly depicted in this slide. Letzyme is a small ribozyme, also known as metalloribozyme, due to its obligatory requirement for lead for catalysis. The leadzyme comprises of an asymmetric internal loop with six nucleotides and a helical region on each side of the internal loop, which acts as the site for cleavage. It specifically cleaves the phosphodiester bond. Even though it was discovered in the artificial system, the natural counterparts exist in 5S rRNA. The hairpin ribozymes are small ribozymes found in the satellite of plant viruses, especially the RNA satellites of plant viruses. It assists in the cleavage and ligation of products of rolling circle replication to form circular and linear satellite RNAs. Even though these are similar to hammerhead ribozymes, these do not require a metal cofactor for the reaction. The satellite RNA of tobacco ring spot virus, Chicori yellow mottle virus, Arabis mosaic virus are examples of this hairpin ribozyme. Hammerhead ribozymes. The hammerhead ribozymes have been well studied as a model system for unraveling the structure and function of RNAs for therapeutic purposes. This is also a metalloribozyme. It plays a role in reversible cleavage and joining reactions at very specific sites within the RNA. It was named for its resemblance of the early secondary structure diagrams to the hammerhead shark and hammerhead ribozyme RNAs were discovered initially in the satellite RNAs and viroids. The self-cleavate reactions first reported in 1986 mediated by a rolling circle model of replication. The hammerhead sequence which forms a conserved three-dimensional tertiary structure is sufficient for self-cleavage. The hepatitis delta virus ribozyme found in hepatitis delta virus plays a role in viral replication. It is the only ribozyme required for the viability of human pathogen. It is the quickest known naturally occurring ribozyme and possesses 
five segments which are helical connected by a double pseudo knot and found to be active in vivo even in the absence of any protein factors and studies have also revealed the presence of an active site cytosine and a divalent metal facilitating the cleavage reaction. The HTV ribozyme is very much similar to another group known as mammalian CPEB3 ribozyme. A genome-wide search for ribozyme revealed an HTV-like RNA homology in the human CPEB gene known as mammalian CPEB3 ribozyme and in humans the homology region has been associated with mRNA polyadenylation. This catalytic RNA is highly conserved and found only among the mammals while other HTV ribozymes have been identified to be active in vitro in other eukaryotes. The Vakut satellite ribozyme is the largest known natural nucleolytic RNA without any available structural data and found as embedded in VS RNA. This satellite RNA is found in mitochondria of Vakut IC and some fungal strains like Neurospora. The catalytic action includes a reversible cleavage and ligation by transesterification involving 2' prime and 5' prime oxygen and 3' prime phosphorus atoms. This ribozyme is unique in its primary, secondary and tertiary structure which was unraveled by probing and mutagenesis studies. The active site appeared to be within the helix 6 and a 730 loop was found to have an intimate contact with the substrate. Another 8, 756 was also revealed to have a direct nucleobase participation in phosphoribosyl transfer chemistry. GLMS ribozyme, the metabolite responsive self cleaving ribozyme, acts as a riboswitch and is involved in the regulation of genes in response to the active concentrations of a metabolite glucose 6 phosphate. Bioinformatics screening of 5' untranslated regions of GLMS genes revealed its role and have shown that it is the first ribozyme which requires binding of an exogenous small molecule for its activity. GLMS enzyme is dependent on GLCN6P to achieve its self catalysis which leads to the degradation of mRNA and thus the reduction in GLMS enzyme encoded by the GLMS gene. COTC ribozyme, the transcriptional termination of human beta globin gene analysis revealed a new phenomena COTC that is co-transcriptional cleavage. This consists of an initial pre-termination cleavage that is PTC. The CoTC mainly involves the self-cleaving activity of the three franking region of beta globin gene. After the discovery of natural ribozymes, the interest in the study of synthetic or engineered ribozymes has considerably risen. Tang and Breaker isolated self-splicing RNAs for the first time by in vitro selection. Even though most of them structurally similar to naturally occurring hammerhead ribozymes, few had novel structures as well. In 2015, Michael Jewett and Alexander Mankin used directed evolution approach having engineered a ribosome and are named as ribosome T or ribo T. Lincoln and Joyce developed a novel ribozyme system faster till date which are capable of self-replication within 60 minutes. A pair of ribozymes emerged by utilizing molecular competition of a candidate RNA mixture and each ribosome in this pair synthesizes the other by joining together the synthetic oligonucleotides in the absence of any protein. Along with this, the development of aptozymes which are engineered riboswitches has also been an area of very high interest in active research. In the end, we would like to summarize this lecture by stating the following facts. Ribozyme or RNAzyme are catalytic RNA which are capable of catalyzing biochemical reactions like the enzymes. The primary, secondary and the tertiary structures show a huge diversity among the ribozymes. The characteristics and the mechanism of action have revealed utmost complexity. 
the history of ribozyme discovery has elucidated various milestones in the research. And there are 12 different types of natural ribozymes. Not only that, artificial engineering of ribozymes recently has developed a ribozyme which can catalyze aminoacylation of tRNA with a wide range of natural and unnatural amino acids.